guys you're welcome welcome to this wonderful program this morning i want to say thank you very much this is samazi uh, ken patrick dk coming to you live from veneto italy while we wait for people to gather and as we expect you to also share this program uh i like you to just keep sharing the program because uh we're going to have interaction today uh, this is the second edition of our trip to Finland and we will continue from where we stopped yesterday. Unfortunately, not everybody's voice was heard because so many calls were coming in and I couldn't take all the calls consequently. So, uh, I'm urging you to share, allow more people to come in. Uh, that is why we are creating the second edition because we want to hear everybody, we want to hear people's opinion. We want to hear our contribution from our people and uh, it is also very very important that our people express themselves in this platform this Maze patrick he came speaking from veneto italy Yeah. 
Thank you very much. You're welcome back. You're welcome back. So, uh, I want to welcome each and every one of us in this uh, program today. And I urge you join us, invite your friends to also join us because it's important that uh, we reach out to as many beer friends as possible. Because a lot of people today have lacked uh, direction as a result of, uh, you know, not uh, following the right path and uh, being deceived because they chose to be deceived, by the way. Uh, but um, yeah, uh, this uh, weekend, over the weekend, we had a trip to Finland and it, and it was an exciting experience for me personally. I had the opportunity to meet a lot of uh, young friends, very hardworking young people in Finland doing their businesses. Many of them own their individual enterprises, you know, rendering services and um, uh, working honestly and uh, uh, without any form of uh, illegality, uh, working and making contributions to that great country. And uh, we had great interaction with many of them and uh, they told us their stories and their experiences and uh, it's also very important that we bring some of these issues on board for our people to know that we have Biafrans and IPOB members in Finland and yesterday we had the opportunity also to speak to the national coordinator of IPOB in Finland, Maze Izzy Kahlo who had um, reiterated his commitment towards a continuous effort in his contribution towards Biafra uh, restoration and referendum and uh, I'm glad to be part of the crew and part of the persons who uh, participated in this uh, great uh, occasion. Um, we experienced a series of uh, difficulties on the way but we were able to surmount them and we moved. My people, I want to welcome you. Uh, I have a series of uh, people who would want to uh, call into our program today. Uh, yesterday, a lot of people called me to complain that uh, their call didn't go through. And I said, well, I'm sorry because there were series and series of callers. I had over 500 missed calls and uh, you know I couldn't take all the calls. And I decided, well, if we couldn't get across to our people, if we couldn't take as much calls as possible, that we are going to create a second edition and uh, to be able to give other those who didn't contribute yesterday the opportunity uh, to do so. And if at the end of the day, we are not still able to reach out, uh, people are not able to reach out to us, we are not able to take as much calls as we can today. We are going to create the third edition because the the trip to Finland, the discussion continues and we cannot stop talking about it because it gave us opportunity to know certain things that we are hidden in the dark. And I can tell you that the criminal, uh, the bubble of criminality is being busted with our presence in Finland in these past few days. Uh, our people are in Finland are beginning to have a new reawakening, new encouragement, and new spirit. Uh, for many who were uh, who felt disappointed, who felt uh, dissuaded, and uh, many are now beginning to see the reason to return back and join the struggle again uh, and continue making their contribution. And the line with me is Marzi Solomon Peter, who uh have been of uh, in great demand i've seen their friends every day calling and asking for marzi solomon and yesterday in my program people were demanding and asking where is marzi solomon where is he uh wh what happened to him hope he's alive hope he's well i received messages and i said today i promise that today marzi solomon is going to join us in the program hello marzi solomon welcome to the program so much, Marzi Patrick. Uh, um, I, I also have to greet Biafran all over the world listening in through your program this evening. My name is uh, Solomon Peter. I'm joining your program from Australia. This is night, I should say. It. Good night to all Biafrans, um, wherever you are residing at this moment. 
Um, thank you very much, Mazi Patrick. Uh, in your comment, you said uh, I was on demand. I hope it's not the one. Yeah, people are being demanded as a, a goose or as something to import into the country. <laughs> yeah, Mazi, you are on high demand because you are you. You know, you were a great inspiration to Biafrans. And uh, a lot of people followed your program until you ha you took a break. And you know what it means to have made such an impact in the life of people. They have, and it also shows how grateful Biafrans are. It is difficult for them to uh, forget you in a hurry. And that is the reason they are requesting that you talk to them after a while. Um, thank you very much. I also appreciate all the Afrans who have not heard from me for a while and uh, um, and also asking questions to know my whereabouts. And that is a good thing to do because a lot of people, we started this struggle with them. So many of them has passed the, the, uh, has passed, um, the land beyond. So uh, it's very, very good. Uh, anyone you didn't hear from, anyone you suspect um, uh, you have not seen for a while to ask about the person. That's very, very important. So I appreciate all that have been asking of me through your program. And uh, I appreciate them very much. And uh, this is a very great opportunity for me this night to talk to dear friends um, all over the world who are listening through your program. So it's a great honor to me to be here. And um, I also appreciate you, um, Mazi Patrick, uh, on the effort you are making towards the restoration of Biafra and uh, all the uh, uh, IPOP uh, media, the effort they are making and all people who are in leadership in IPOP, the coordinators and uh, um, all the level of all level of uh, leadership. I also have to appreciate them for the effort they are putting towards the restoration of Biafra. At least the best IPOP that I have seen, I have seen throughout this very strong are the IPOP that the IPOP during the period of this time when our leader was arrested that is the best IPOP that I have ever seen people who are full of wisdom people who are full of understanding people who can be able to to do extraordinary things so these are the group of people that I have seen during this period that our leader um, was a uh, arrested or has been kidnapped from Kenya to Nigeria. So I appreciate all of them for the leadership, for the effort, for the encouragement which they have offered to Biafran during this very period. Notwithstanding Mazi, I went through your program yesterday. I listened to your programs and to the people that calls in. And uh, it becomes very important that I speak to Biafrans in this your programs today. As to regard to the um, issues that are arising from the programs you did yesterday and the, the thing that people who call, who call into your program say, um, I just want to do one simple illustration or a kind of um, word of wisdom to your friends. So because it's very, very important that we understand that the issue of um, the issue of struggle like ours, self determination is multitasking. Um, is a multitasking uh, 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 a kind of multitasking um, um, job. So uh, it's not it's not a straightforward job. It's not a kind of job like. Uh, like people have it in professional, like in profession, you go and study about medicine, then you come out and you become a medical doctor. You practice in that line of medications as long as uh, you remain a doctor. Or you go to school, you study about um, um, uh, about nursing, and then you become a nurse, a nurse as a profession, and you walk through that line of uh, uh, nursing. 
um, self-determinations and the struggle like ours is not at the same like people who are pursuing one profession or the other. It is multi taxing So it, oh, it's multi taxing And because of his nature of being more taxing, more taxing, then it also requires that the people who are involved have to be very, very flexible. Flexible in such a way that in such a way that you can be able to bend to situations and circumstances. Sometimes we might find ourselves in a free environment and sometimes you might find yourself in a very tight corner and you must be flexible in such a way that in whatever conditions or situations you find yourself in a struggle, you might be able to adopt instantly. Sometimes you will be pushed in the world. Sometimes you will even be made to, uh, you know, to, to, to keep quiet for a while. Sometimes you will even be made to, to, to cease fire for a while. Sometimes you will be meant to engage. Sometimes you will be meant to sit with people, make discussions. Sometimes you will even be made to stand up and start uh, shouting and screaming. So it is more taxing uh, job. It's not a job that is a straightforward, that this is just the way we are going to do it and we are all following that very way like zombie. No, it is something that is in different dimensions, that goes with different dimensions. Sometimes you will need to sit down with people and discuss with them, rub mind with them. Sometimes you will even decide, you will, you will even push you to a point where you will be very angry and we like to demonstrate and we like even to, to, to fight. So that is just the way the struggle is. So anybody who is taking the struggle to be a one-way traffic is now making a mistake. And uh, that is the situation that I find our people into. I find them that they have taken the struggle like it is only when you are angry or when you demonstrated that you are angry. That is the only way that uh, the struggle, that shows that the struggle is moving. But that is not the way. And that is what our people have to learn um, at this time where we are in, that for, for us to have moved from, from where we are, from where we, we used to be to where we are today, shows that, shows that we, we are doing different things at different times. Because that is the only thing. Because when you watch people who are stagnant, you discover they are not moving. They are not making effort. But any time you are moving, you discover you will be changing step each, at each time. You will be changing step at each time. Your hand will not be one place. Your leg will not be one place. So the only people who are not moving are the people who their leg and their hands are in one place. But if you are moving, you discover your hand will moving the leg wouldn't be one place and your hand would not be one place so that means you are doing different things at a time that makes you to cover a space to move from one spot to the other uh, people have to understand it and once we understand it then we will be able to know how to avoid infiltrators how to avoid infiltrators there is there is one thing we need to know, and once we know it, we will be able to avoid people who are not genuine. People who are not genuine, who did not come with genuine intention to contribute to the to contribute to our struggle, we will be able to avoid them. You know, we will be able to avoid them, and it's very, very important, and that is what our people need to understand. Now, as to regard to people who call in into your program yesterday who are asking questions about um, the, the seat at home and the why IPOP is not supporting 10 days and 7 days and, and the uh, Monday seat at home 
at this very point in time is that IPOP is a is an a structured a structured organizations that are fighting for freedom of Biafra. So we have to do things the way we are being instructed to do it. And the way IPOP is structured is that IPOP have level of commanders, level of commands. So things has to flow from the level of command to the least person. So once we are set to this house and the, the person who is in the position of authority say, don't move this house now, we all stand still because if give give the book where we must move at once, move as group, we move. When the command says stand, we stand. So we move in group. It is very difficult to defeat us as a people if we are moving in group, if we are taking a command from one source, it is very, very difficult to defeat us. And that is very, very important that we need to understand. Now, coming to the side of uh, our leader being kidnapped from Kenya, taken to Nigeria, it is very annoying. Even if you are the most laziest and the uh, weakest person in IPOP, kidnapping our leader, capturing our leader in Kenya and taking him to Nigeria and they keeping him in DSS dungeon of which we know the kind of suffering, the kind of environment that that place is. It is very, very annoying. So in this struggle at this very point, if anybody wanted to prove that he is annoyed, that he is not happy about kidnapping of our leader and taking our leader to Nigeria, if anyone is angry now about it and want to demonstrate his anger the place that the place that required for for them the place that required for gun to be shot or the place required for people to be harassed or a place required to fall at this very moment must be dss dungeon or asurok who are the people who are helping our leader these are the places that need to fall. So if anybody want to show power, if anybody want to show that he is angry and he cannot bear it and he want to shoot gun and he want to take violence, he want to take it by violence, then you have to take the battle to the door, to the doorpost of the enemies. You know where our leaders is being held. You know where our leader is being held. You know people who are holding our leader. They are not they are not in secret. They are in open. Our leader is in Abuja at DSS Dungeon, at the headquarters of DSS Dungeon. That is where our leader is. And the people who have maintained to his detention, who has maintained his dissensions, are the presidency the executive, the presidency of Nigeria, because the court of Nigeria has already released our leader. But the presidency, they insisted through attorney general of Nigeria, the former attorney general of Nigeria, and they are the people who are still holding our leader. So if anybody want to show power or authority or to show that he doesn't want to take it anymore, the place that need to fall, the place that person need to take the battle to, should be Asurok or taking it to DSS dungeon. And these are where our leaders is being kept. So showing power, showing power in the local markets, in our village, in our town, or showing power, or coming out to show power in the street of Biafra, in the southeast, where the from southeast to Abuja is about four to six hours or thereabout. The distance is very vast. For anybody to be coming to southeast to be shooting gun, forcing market people to sit at home, chasing people around with gun in the southeast is the 
is the show of cowardice. It's the show of cowardice, cowardism, or whatever. Cowardice, Mazi. Cowardice, yes. Mazi, I don't know if I'm right. You are right. Cowardice. It's act of cowardice, yes. It's a show of cowardice. For anybody to be coming around side, Southeast, to be forcing people to sit at home, that they should sit at home for, 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 for DSS, who she is at Abuja to release Mazi and the candle, or for the president, the post, post is at Asorok to release to release uh, Mazin and the Kano. That is a show of cowardice. That shows that you are a coward. You are not capable because you have gone and you feel that you have all the power, all the power within you, and you want to show Nigeria that is either Biafra or dead. And you want to show Nigeria, you want to take your own Biafra by force. And you want to show you want to show them that they, they have no right to help your leader, that they have no right to detain your leader. Where you need to show that power is in Abuja, where your our leader is being held. If you love him more, you you feel like DOS are not capable. They are not capable. That is why our leader is being held. They are lazy. They are they are cowards. They are they are they are weak. Then they are not doing anything. Like as some of them, I saw them in the media. They come. Hey, DOS are not doing anything. DOS are not. Doing. If you felt they are not doing anything and you are capable of doing something. Where you have to demonstrate it is in Abuja, Asurok, or the headquarters of DSX in Abuja. Mazi, there is something I want to say. When Al Zazaki was detained, all the way from Kaduna, the people of Al Zazaki did not go about killing people in Kaduna, but they brought their grievances to Abuja. Mazi, go ahead. That is exactly the point I am making. For the people who are coming to your program yesterday, but Onya Mahana Papa is is keeping seat at home for Biafra to come. For Mazin, no, not even for Biafra to come. They are saying this time for Mazin and the Kano to to be released. They have to be. They have to go hard. They have to go hard on Nigeria. And instead of them taking the battle to the doorpost of the enemies, they are like people who are standing behind their wife to fight. They are like people who are standing behind people, behind people who are separating fights. You know, Imago or Gondoja, Apolona, Zebia, Ibia, Bonyo Jog, or Apolona, Zonia, Bolio, Nancy, Mate Pogana, Mate Pogana, you are like. You are fighting like a coward if you are among those who are supporting the kind, the level of killing and the level of criminality that are happening in the name of struggle for Biafra in the Southeast. If you are such person, it doesn't matter your level of education, commitment, or money spent. It doesn't matter the name you answer or whatever emotion you felt or whatever things you try to demonstrate that you love Mazin and the Kanu so much and you are among them supporting the criminalities that is happening in the southeast in the name of sitting at home killing market women harassing people with gun harassing people with gun in your locality in your city and you are not able to carry this battle, this disturbance to Abuja, and you have not been able to show us a rock that you have this kind of power, you have this kind of juju. Mas it's even, it's even a shame that these days I even see some of those people that are shown in the Facebook. They are coming with their red, uh, with their red clothes, with their juju, that gun doesn't enter them. And you have such power that gun doesn't enter you. And you know where your leader is being kept. What is he? What are you afraid of that have made you not to have moved the battle? The one sitting in Finland that is coming to tell them 
he is he is tough man he 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 has power sometimes when i look at that cockroach when i look at that cockroach sometimes i feel so much ashamed of myself i feel so much ashamed of myself to have been among the people that 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 he is including as a Piafran, as the kind of his own Piafran that he's fighting for. You claim you have power. You claim you have people you train. You have people who are working for you. And your leader is being kept. And you know the address of where they kept your leader. Then instead of you carrying your back to, to the place where they kept your leader and show them power, you are busy stopping old women in the village. You are busy stopping old women, harassing people in the in the streets, in the area that you have to travel six hours from where they kept your leader. That is that is very shameful to me. That's why some people like me we like to keep quiet and just be watching. Because why will we keep quiet and just be looking at them? It's because we know that they are going to fall into their shame. Very soon they will open mouth and they won't be able to speak. Very soon they will cover their face with their, their face on shame. Okay, look at what happened in our boy. About 15 or 20 of them who came to harass people in the street has been comprehended. They have already arrested them. Who is going to come for them? Who is going to bail these people out? Now, this group of people, nobody can be able now to determine their fate. Their fate. As, we, as I was talking with somebody this morning, I said, yes, the already people who needed kidding in now are rejoicing because there is already 15 people that they are going to harvest their, harvest their kidney and sell to them. Human organs tra traffickers, they are already happy now because they already have 15 people for them. Because who is going to come for these people? On what ground is these people now going to stand to defend themselves? So these are the things that people who are calling you, showing emotion, they are holding our leader, and the, the person is sitting, somebody called you from Germany yesterday, sitting comfortable at Germany. And they call you to be telling you that uh, in, uh, Nigeria are killing 50. They themselves, they are killing two or three people. Mas, it's, ter it's, it's terrible. It's terrible. It's terrible. Justifying that, criminality. That guy, and that guy, and that guy who was sitting there in that Germany, he knows the address of where Mazin and the card is. Somebody, Mars, in one of your program, I was telling them we are still celebrating that a student of university, because of the genocide being committed against Biafra, went before the parliament of America and set himself fire, self commit self suicide. Somebody who who is not a, who is not who has no Biafra. connection with Biafra people, though. He has no connection. He has no relative. He has no brother. He has no sister. What? Now, they are heading your leader that is very important to you. You are leader that you cannot be able to obey chains of command from the leadership of IPOP. You want to go out of your way and you have not been able to go and set yourself on fire. You have not been able to go on suicide mission. You have not been able to set yourself on fire before DSS office or before Azurok. You are eating your curry, eating your uh, ofo obono, eating your boka comfortably. But when anybody come to come to Facebook to uh, to be able to to uh, uh, you know to to speak wisdom, to speak understanding to Biafra, you will jump into your phone. You will, you will call. DOS is not, the dear DOS is not working. The leadership of IPOB is not working. But you that is working, that is angry, we have not seen 
we have not seen you. We have not seen your action. Then the only action you contributed money for is harassing the women in the village. Harassing the women in the village under critical conditions. Under As you go ahead, go ahead. You know, people try to reach out to me on the same line that. Uh, I'm running the program with so many of our people who have my direct yeah. line. So go ahead. Go ahead because you are really hitting so, the point. And uh, what I see is uh, people, you cannot get angry to the point where you now start inflicting wound on yourself. This is the situation. It shows how stupid and how uh, inability for people to reason. You are angry and you are inflicting wound on yourself. Mazi, go ahead. And you're not just inflicting this wound on yourself to, 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 you know, in a place where, you know, you have to even be noticed because even the, the, the Asso Rock is not even taking, you know, do not really care. This is what they want to see. The Eastern region burnt down, destroyed, our economic life destroyed. And at the end of the day, we are going to start afresh. You know, Mazi, go ahead. Mazi. This, this is the point I'm trying to make, that people should be able to understand that our struggle is multi-taxing. It's not something that is one-way traffic. Or emotional, dri or emotional driven. Emotional driven. Or or emotional driven. Huh? There is diversity to what we are doing. It's like somebody who is applying a road that has traffic, that has traffic rules. When you get to a place where you're supposed to stop, you stop. When you get to a place where you're supposed to to speed to a certain limit, you speed up to that limit. Where are you supposed to, when you come to school zone, you know that there is rule. You keep your speed slow. Any emotion you might demonstrate without wisdom, without knowledge, which knowledge is the uh, wisdom, uh, well, not uh, wisdom, is the proper application of knowledge. When you have led, in this our struggle, we cannot straight, uh, we cannot take IPOP out of one or two mistakes. But our ability to correct ourselves, put our house in order, and forge ahead is the reason why we are still strong and moving forward. And having contributed heavily to be able to come to where we are today, we cannot allow any charlatan, any criminals to destroy our legacy. Every one of us is not talking in social media. There are some of us who have sacrificed heavily, even to the point of laying down their life. Even to the point of losing losing some some certain some certain things that are very priceless. And then we build this legacy and we are able to take this struggle from where we started to where we are now and somebody will jump from nowhere and started issuing order started issuing that directive and he's not doing it on his own but claiming it on our behalf that is wrong I don't know if our people have to understand this. If it is 
if Biafra is shooting gun, harassing people in Biafra land, in Biafra land, could have give will, could have give us Biafra, Biafra we are looking for. We could have done it years back before whosoever that is jumping into media today could even realize. We could have done it years back before they join, before they come out to talk about it in 2019. Why they were, they would, it should have been realized why they were CET yam in Germany. And that is the truth. Why they are still, why uh -huh. they are still eating yam. We could have finished the job. We could have fin we could have harassed everybody in Biafra land and get Biafra. Even before them realize it in 2019. Even before them realize it in 2020. But for us to have been able to come to where we are today with such a limited resources that we have, that shows how far we have sacrificed. It shows how far we have endured. It shows how far so many of us carry the blood of our loved ones in our hand, fresh, being shot and killed by police. And yet, we did not carry on to go around and start harassing people. We still cried. We still endured. Even when we are being pushed to the wall to commit because they are setting trap for us everywhere. And in your program, I've told Nigeria that the consultant Nigeria are paying for the issue of Biafra. Even if we even if we gather and sell everything we have, we might not afford such money they are paying for so because they are trying to get the best in advising the and setting traps and planting strategies against us. And being able to manage ourselves and manage our resources despite the infiltrators they planted despite uh, the people they plant in our midst to disorganize us and do we still moving to this very point shows how far we have sacrificed and somebody cannot just jump from nowhere in 2019 and they could not be able to take ordinary oath that members of IPOP normally takes and he could not be able to sign code of conduct and he could not be able to submit to leadership even for short period of time and that person will just jump and start issuing orders and the directives and that is it is not done like that it doesn't no there's no part of the world that it can happen that way we have built this legacy and we continue we will continue to fight every woman born of a woman that comes to destroy our legacy that comes to destroy our sacrifice that comes to make our sacrifice to to be worthless so anybody who is asking you you should stop fighting that guy you should we will fight him to the last because we did not just pick what we are doing on the road we pay with our blood we pay with our hard earned money while some of them are busy getting their money marrying their woman so many of us deprived ourselves so many things to get this struggle to where it is today and we continue to sacrifice and somebody we 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 tell us that so somebody is coming to Facebook to issue orders to men, to people who have led their life, lay down their lives, lay down pleasures, lay down their freedoms, which they have abundantly in wherever they are. Risk their wife, risk their children. To, to be able to keep this legacy 
And somebody say, leave him alone. So he should go alone and act, and act on his name. He will meet his water low. But to act in our name, that is unacceptable. Unacceptable. We are being, we are being kind. So we are being kind to have allowed the issue, this issue to have lingered up to this very time that Simon Epa is still measuring IPOP in his mouth. We are, that shows how lenient we are. That shows how lovely and how, 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 how sentimental we are to have allowed it. Because this is not a price that is gotten in a plat in a platter of gold. It is it was on the blood of our people. It is a legacy built build with so many innocent blood that has gone with heavy sacrifice that is still dear in our heart. So nobody should come and joke. If anybody want to claim that he has power, he can do something. If he doesn't have the address of DU, uh, DSS, if he doesn't have the address of Asurop, he doesn't When the children, when David want to conquer, when David want to conquer Goliath, did David sit at his house? Does he sit at his house? Has he gone to be uh, eating off apple and off apple? And eventually the head of Goliath, is that how David got down Goliath? Didn't he went out and face him? Didn't he went out and face him? The wall of Jericho is about the children of Israel. Did they stay in the wilderness and then the wall of Jericho fall? Didn't they went to the wall of Jericho and go around the wall of Jericho? And blow the trumpet. Did they wait in the in the wilderness harassing people who are keeping the animals in the wilderness? the Don't they know that DSS are the one are the are the that the Mazin and the Kano are under the custody of DSS? Why are they cowardized? Why are they cowards? Why they cannot face their fears? Why they cannot take the battle to the door? To the top post of the, their enemies. They are busy harassing people. And the people are busy helping the idiot. Helping the idiot. Hey, he's doing he's doing well. He's doing well. Ah, oh my god. Sometimes I will be here. I will be here. I will like like let me lift up my leg and smash the cockroach. And people, women are busy buying stars for him, supporting him, giving him money, calling him Odubu, Ojimu, Mweji, Buako. Ha ha. And the cockroach, one ten na boku, one ten na boku, sini ana ala mano. One ten na boku, sini ana ala mano. Brainless people, brainless people, not do not think it is praises. I was feeling like yesterday when they are calling you to talk. I was feeling I was feeling like if I'm the one sitting on your chair yesterday, I could have talked to them. I could have talked to them. That the only way lesser power bow is when power jam power. Power jam power. The DSS carry gun. You carry gun. Why can't you go and face people who carry gun? You are busy hiding out, hiding, hiding in the bush, hiding in the bush. Why you are carrying gun? Why are you hiding? You have sham. You have sham. You feel like you have you have supernatural power, and you have gone, and you are still hiding. Who are you, a coward? Who are you, a coward? I thought like the way they are coming, that by now, as rock would have been in ashes. I thought that DSS would have been demolished by now. And the cowards are busy. Busy, pregnant, pregnant small, small girls in the village. Are, 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 are busy, are busy harassing old women in the markets. What a 
a shame. What a shame. And the man who caught them, business. I don't know why some of these men, their wives supposed to be giving them slap after they are calling, calling to, to, to make Hello, Mazi, I just want to make uh, an announcement, please. Uh, for those of you uh, calling, please, I have just changed the the number on the screen if you want to call call on plus three nine plus three nine three seven one three two five seven nine two six uh please call on uh instead of the former number i gave out call on plus three nine three seven one three two five nine two six three two five seven nine two six uh, call on this line. Uh, you're welcome to the program. Mazi, go ahead. Because I would also want to take a uh, few more calls so that you will be at the background listening. And uh, if there is need for you to return, you're definitely going to return to analyze the, 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 you know, the calls and the interactions, Mazi. So Mazi, if, there is, if there is something you still want to say, I don't know if there is something. But yes, that said you've said a lot, you've said a lot, Mazi, you have uh, said a lot, and uh, your message is uh, resonating. The truth of the matter is that, the, the dear friends, you know, we haven't been in freedom fighting before, uh, and we have, people have invested more of their emotion in the struggle than their common sense. People have invested more of their emotion in the struggle than... Uh, more of understanding and that is why you see that people sometimes they say they don't know what they are doing again they feel confused anybody that can entertain them they will rush because emotion and you know when our leader uh, was abducted in Kenya the, the infiltrators who came understand exactly how emotional our people Ah, uh, they came with high emotion. Somebody was shy. Hey, way. They kill our leader. <laughs> and, you know, trying to, you know, build up that kind of emotion. Today, where is the person now that was crying that they kidnapped? He, she have, she's nowhere to be found any longer. They will try to build up emotion, believing that Biafra struggle is all about emotion. And that is why you see a, a well-grown-up man telling me that uh, if it was yesterday, a man called in from on the chair, according to him, if it was possible, I would have replaced my life with the life of this young man in DSS custody. In your house. <laughs> if it was possible for me to exchange, I would have asked that they exchange me. You see, emotion. If you are really serious, why can't you take transport to Abuja and stand in the gate of DSS and say, if you don't give me Mazen Nam, they can't, I'm not going home. If, if, you know, because talk is cheap. Mazi, go ahead, please, if there is something you want to say. Mazi, you know, the reason is because people are very lazy. This is our generation. They are, this our generation is very lazy generation. Lazy generation. They always have the belief that there is an hero somewhere who has to die for them, who has to be the one to 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 do the job. So most of that's why you see there is one broadcast of Mazen and Kambuja always listening. Go on and so in that broadcast where he says that if, that there is no more men. That everywhere is full of friends. It's not referring that maybe uh, women are not useful, but he, the, 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 where he is putting the contest is like, you know, uh, men are the one who goes to battle. Do you understand? Men are the one who, who fight for the family, who stand for the family. And when somebody there is no more men that everybody is just a woman that simply means that that people are now taking defense instead of going forward to confront their challenges so people our generation and most people who come around this very struggle they, so many of them are lazy in mind they are lazy in thinking. They are lazy in reasoning. 
they are lazy in action. They are lazy in participation. Even they are lazy in contributing. Common even the the the, the monthly contribution that we are doing. They are very lazy to do anything. But do you know that this quantity, this uh, group of lazy people, they are always the first to complain. They are the group that complain more. The OS are not working. These people, their monthly contribution, they are not making it. They are the first to jump. Eh? The DOS are not giving us order. But uh, even common going to meeting, they are not. Sharing Biafran's, Biafran's uh, program, they are not. We are very lazy. We always believe that there is a hero somewhere who is going to come. Like, like as so many people believe in Christianity, Christ is bringing heaven to them. They always believe that there is a hero somewhere who is going to be the one to suffer, the one to, to, to fight the battle, defeat their enemies. And to them, they will just sit down in the comfort of in the comfort of their house, in the in the in the in the comfort of the areas where they are, and that person will come and deliver victory into their hands. They are not ready to go into the field. Mas even even the oh. even the what you call cockroach. There was this interview that he was granted recently, where they asked him why can't he go to the ground and lead his troop. He said no, that if he go, that they will kill him. <laughs> you know? But you was so, because it is easy for you to sit in your comfort zone and give order. The journalist asks the idiot, the criminal infiltrator, what I why can't you go down on the ground and lead this troop? Since you say you want Biafra by fire by force, armed struggle. He said, No, I can't go down. If I go down there, I'll be killed. So who is now going to stand for you you want to be using criminals to be perpetrating uh criminality on the ground why you are sitting in your comfort zone and people say we shouldn't go and uh, inform the finnish government about these uh, atrocities go ahead Marzi. that's exactly the point lazy people they don't want to participate they just want to lazy around let the hero come and deliver it into their hands. And one cockroach will come out and took microphone and took microphone and the cockroach will begin to roar like a lion. Hey, they will jump everywhere. Our lion has come. Our hero has come. Because of what? They are lazy. They are lazy. They are lazy. They cannot participate. They cannot contribute. They cannot. There is nothing in them that that is that is that is coming out to make a change. That is the reason why they can sing on the praises of anybody as their hero. They can sing on the praises of anybody as doing well. Because to them they are they are big for nothing. They are not there's nothing they are offering. There's no, nothing they are giving out. So anybody, any cockroach can fly anywhere with microphone rolling like a lion and why is a cockroach and they will be clapping. That is very bad condition for our people. And today we are looking as a stupid. We are looking as stupid. Even people who, sh who should not talk to us are now talking to us. Because every day, all these people who are showing power, every day that Mazin and the Kanu remain in that dungeon and with their power, they are not able to break out, take Mazin and the Kanu out, destroy it, and show that very power. Every day that Mazin and the Kanu remains there is a speech on our face. Because you cannot claim too much power as you claim and your leader is being held. And your leader is being held. So, these are the things that our 
people have to be putting into consideration, the things they have, their eyes have to be open on, and they will know and understand the level and the standard of leadership that DOS has offered this struggle in the absence of Mazin and the Khan. And that is the only way they can come to the point of appreciating, being appreciative to the level and the standard of leadership that these people has offered us in this period we are in. Because they have never, in their power, they claim they will do this, Biafra will come, they will bring Biafra, and they have have not been able to scratch the enemies. No scratch. No scratch. Nothing has, nothing changed. And they keep posting. Because they don't have the right weapon. It's just like somebody who is going to the, to the, to the uh, ocean or going to the, uh, to the lake with a spoon. And the boasting that is going to use that spoon to drill the water that is flowing in the ocean, how possible? You must have a better strategy. And you are trying something that IPOP, strategies that IPOP has tried in past. The level we have exceeded, the level that we, IPOP has passed, and you are repeating the class. And people are clapping for you. Ha! Huh. My God. Mazi, sometimes eh, I will feel like crying when I see the, the level, the level that the brain of our people, the level of decay in the brain of our people. I will, I will feel like crying. So our people have come to this very point that a cockroach like this can can be adopted as their hero. You know, I was quarreling with somebody. Not quarreling. I was just badging the person. Because he, he told me that if I knew Ba was calling, mentioning the name of this guy and uh, saying he should live in a way for him and that I feel ashamed of if I knew Ba. The crime that is being committed locally is what you are looking for to deal with the local crime, crime that people who are committing that crime are in your village, in your locality. You left where these people are and you are looking for one rat, one cockroach in Kimland to promote his name. They caught them, all of them. They caught them in a back lake. Did they have to... Mention, mention the name of... Uh, yeah. Did they have to mention the name of this cockroach before they caught people who committed local crime? Did they have to? If I know by that is why our society is full of cowards. People who doesn't know their left and right. But you see, but you see sometimes you see sometimes people take political position without even you know without anything in their head. You know, the, 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 the demonstration of Ifan Yoba shows how empty he is. You know, as a matter of fact. You know, somebody occupying such a position politically, you know, and you don't even know what your responsibilities are. I was, I was looking at the road that they were driving and said they are looking for autopilot. And the road are unkept. Eh? They, as a politician, as a politician, as a political leader, that road are not so you because even me here, you know, I can't be in a political position and I will be driving on that road. I should be ashamed of myself to be in a political position with all the money people like Ifan Yuba claim they have in Igbo land. And they cannot even fix ordinary road. Marcy, huh? Marcy, Pat. The thing is that our people their brain, ne lezule. Their brain, ne lezule. I ne miss, see, we are missing that position of being an Igbo man. 
we are we are losing it entirely we are losing it in totality or be an evil man all we do now is promoting one lazy idiot or the other promoting their idiosities so Mazi, there is a lot to say but the truth of the matter is that our people should start coming to their senses the reason why Mazina and the Kano is hard on us is because he want us to, he wanted us to take care of our ignorance he wanted us to take care of our ignorance because ignorance is a disease that is why he goes hard on us he call us all sorts of names because he want us because the best advice you can ever obtain is the advice you give to yourself it's very important when you come to a place where things has been structured to go in this way all you just need to do is to engage and be part of that structure. Key, your, key yourself. Key, your, you key, can, in. Key, key in. Key in. Key in. Key in. Yes. If there is anything that needed to adjust, that needed to correct, then by you fitting in and making your contributions, because most of the achievement of IPOP is as a result of people who came and made contributions. People who came and made contribution, you came. They asked you. They, you are asked to take the, 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 the to to fit into the structure. You said no. You can't do it. You can't do it. That Biafrans has adopted you. You can't be loyal to anybody. You can't be loyal to authority. And still, you you went out and you are using the name of that organization to be issuing your orders, claiming to be a member while you are not. So whatever things you commit should be counted. They should take responsibility. Where 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 is that being done in the world? Biafrans, what I wanted to let us know it, through this program is that in at this very point in time, the DOS are very right in, in the things that they are doing. They are very right because that is what is required at this season. And they are taking step towards the direction, towards the right direction. If anybody want to be want to do otherwise, that person should do it in his name, and should be able to do it at the right place, where it can give victory to the people not at a place where it will destroy the livelihood of his people and they turn them into more hardship if simon eba has machine gun if he has boys that are being fortified supernatural that can wear red that gun doesn't enter them let them go to dss break the prison break dss just out to everybody there, shoot their gun, bring out our leader alive. Then we will by court going to court, we will by court waiting for tribunal, we will by court waiting for uh, whatever uh, procedures we are waiting for through court and through political uh, political solution. 
that they have rejected because they said they have rejected political solution but they are still the one waiting for to hear from the lawyers they are the same people the same people who have rejected political solution are still the one waiting for court decision you cannot say you are into into armstrong while you are still talking about sit at home because sit at home is a civil is a civil disobedience sit at home is a civil if they if they by court mas if they by court the court procedures by court waiting for spring court and then bring our leader out then we have reason to clam them our heroes well, we have reason to call them our heroes so by then if we call them mabulago mabulago kapolo say no the wrong call or if if they have to answer any name at that time when they answer that name then it will suit them but for now let them stop hiding behind their wife rapper to be making threat to the comp to the opponent hiding under the bed hiding under the cover of pretense to be making threat i tell nigeria i tell some of them oh my god mazi our people have has to wake up the only right way to go now is to fall under the direction and leadership of dos we need to come together as a people and receive command from the chain of command as it were in ipob if, if we go it alone as an individual they will squeeze us look at example is look at the people the the uh, uh, uh they in finland sent to harass people in our boy state they are being caught like rats like rats in a in a hole they are all of them if we go as an individual we are finished but if we remain born to born together as we are in ipop every time we every time we issue small statement there will be a Great. There will be earthquake everywhere. We be shaking because they know we are born together. We are together, and in this very struggle, if you have not conquered death, if fear of death has not gone out of your face, I beg you are not part of this journey. Every people, everybody in society should not be a soldier. No, but the 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 the, the, the criminal t told the journalist in uh, Finland that he's afraid to go because they will kill him. So he is number one that she removed death from his uh, and you know calm down. You understand what I'm saying? You cannot be afraid of death, exactly. and you say you are fighting for Biafra. He said why? if you go back why to the zoo that he will be why? killed. Why? why do you think they happen? Why do you think they haven't gone to Abuja? Is it not because they are afraid of death? Mazin Nandekan was in his was in London very comfortably. He announced to Nigeria when they are threatening him that he's coming to Nigeria. That is a man who has conquered death. That is a man who has re removed the fear of death. He came there, they held him. He was when he when he after after they have planned to kill him, he appeared in Israel. He still sent them message said if they will promise him protection, he's coming back to stand trial. Mazi, leave all these children. They just have to remove the plank that is in their eyes before waiting to remove the sand that is on other people's eyes. They don't know what is blocking their, their... Before anybody should be called your hero, please let that person do what others could not be able to do. Ask yourself, somebody you are clapping for, what is other... What could others not... What, uh, what is... Uh, 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 what has he done that other people have not been able to do? Before clapping for that person, is coming to Facebook or coming to media to make broadcast. Is that what is what other people could could not do? 
The person who should be a hero at this very time is the only body who can by court, the court procedure, by court uh, uh, lawyers and they bring Mazin and the Kano out. Go to that prison, bring him out without those things and they claim that you are the hero. That is what David did to his nation that made them claim him a hero. And that is what Saul did to his nation that made them claim, that make and them crying him his their hero. Go go out, do extraordinary thing before you answer hero. But he, 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 here in Anibo, in the Anibo, somebody will answer Obu Efi when he has never killed a fowl. <laughs> Obu Agu, Obu Agu when he has never killed a lizard. In Azu Obu Agu, Anakolo Kaka, man, get it out. Nah, yeah, maybe one. Mas, yeah, maybe one. So it's my pleasure talking to your friends today. I still remain Mazi Solomon Peter. Mazi so, Solomon, you know, your friends have been waiting for you for a very long time, and I know that they enjoyed your conversation today. Anyway, Mazi, you have to stand by. Because any other call that is coming in, I have to take it so you'll be able to listen to this program. Please, guys, call in. The line is open. Plus 39371-3257-926. This is the number I've placed on the screen now because the former number that I put on the screen uh, was um, a personal number that I'm using to run the program. So if you are calling on that number, you are interrupting the program. I did that by mistake. So I'm correcting that now by putting 39 plus 39, 371, 357, 926. And Mazi Solomon will be at the background listening to our conversation. Uh, so Mazi Solomon, you just have to go to Rapture Media uh, or BTV to be able to to be able to get the transmission. Then, if the need arises, you can always come into the program and uh, make one or two corrections or contributions or direction. Um, Mazi Solomon. Yes, I am here. Don't worry. Let them call in and ask their questions like as they are asking you yesterday. Okay, beautiful. So you stand by, please. For callers, for callers, look at the number on the screen. Plus three nine three seven one three two five seven nine two six. Ah, uh, please stop calling the other number. I see so many people calling uh, the other number. The number you should call is plus three nine. Three seven one three two five seven nine two six. That is the number you should be calling. So Mazi Solomon will be uh, stepping out. There are a series of calls that we have received in the past, and uh, I want to evaluate those calls and see if these people are available uh, for contribution. Um, Mazi Solomon. You, I'll be keeping you by the side while I wait for calls to come in. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So that was Mazi Solomon Peter, your favorite uh, analyst who you have been requesting for for a very long time. People keep calling in. People keep writing me. They want to hear from Mazi Solomon. They want to hear from Mazi Solomon. And today, Mazi Solomon has featured in our program. And I can tell you that anytime he comes around, he always has something to give out. Always inspirational. So the number is on the screen. And uh, we will be waiting for your calls. Uh, we will be taking a short break. As your call come in, we are going to be responding. Thank you very much. This is Mazi Ikem Patrick DK. Communicating right from Veneto, Italy. Welcome to the program once again.
Yeah, so dear friends, the, the number is on the screen. I urge you to call in. Um, call in and talk to us. I've received series of calls though from uh, from the, the other number that I put on the screen earlier. But I want to urge you to a call on the new number I put on the screen because that is the number that is uh, required. That is the number that you can call in and talk to me and the number is uh, plus three nine three seven one three two five seven nine two six let me take it again plus three nine three seven one three two five seven nine two six we just had a conversation with our brother Mazi Solomon Peter who have uh, given us some sense of uh, uh, reason and inspiration. Uh, now the number is on the screen once again, plus 39371-3257926. If you want to call in, the line is open now. The line is open. Call in. Uh, so you can interact with us. You can interact with us. Uh, we have uh, people, we have over 233 on BTV watching. Uh, we have above 200 watching on Rapture Media. So we are reaching out to a series of people. We are reaching out to a lot of people. And uh, I expect that calls should come in now that the line is open. Uh, so that we we'll hear your own side, uh, we we'll hear your contribution, we'll be able to also reason together. It is very, very important. It is very, very important. My name is Ikem Patrick DK, reaching you from the Veneto region of Italy, and uh, I'm happy to be here today, Sunday, 10th of uh, July. Uh, 2023 and our interaction is based on our trip to Finland we were able to have a direct communication with the Finnish people 
we were also able to talk with the uh, Finnish parliament. We were able to talk with people, the local people. And this is what Biafra is all about. I've also seen people say, oh, uh, they go do, they go do Jamboree for Finland. Of course, it's part of the, it's part of the, um, process because uh, it what we are doing is to advertise advertise the Biafran course advertise and also um, you know carry out uh, a dissemination of information so that people will know that the Biafran people are alive uh, and also uh, help us to free ourselves from uh, some of the impressions that uh, Biafra is all about criminality, like some people have painted, you know. So, IPOB is not involved in any form of criminality. IPOB is a peaceful movement. I have also always opened the room for uh, dialogue with, uh, uh, mm -hmm. you know, with any, any country of the world that want to give whatever assistance that is possible for Biafran people. People keep calling into this program uh, despite my plea that they should stop calling. I expect that somebody is calling from South Africa and I expect that they are supposed to have uh, you know, had the announcement I made that the number have changed. So please stop calling on this number. Call on the other number that um okay let me see somebody tried to call in let me see if i can get in touch people are beginning to get the message they are calling into the the real number the person that is calling me from south africa should please call three nine three seven one three two five okay we have a caller we have a caller hello caller good afternoon and welcome to the program Yes, good afternoon. Can you please tell us your name and where you are calling from? Uh, my name is Ifani. Ifani, welcome to the program. Uh, um, I was live now. I just saw when you were uh, you are, you are live, you are saying something. That's what I said. Let me go. Okay, so what did you hear? What did you hear? What contribution do you want to make? Um, I don't have any, you know, you know, let me see. There's something I want to remind. I don't know because I saw the video you guys went to from Italy to Finland, not just was, Italy, I from video, so I said, IPOB all over the world. From I said, it's not just IPOB in Italy, from all over Europe oh. and uh, Canada, America, from all over the world, from, from Britain, also from the UK. People came from everywhere. So go ahead and uh, tell me what, uh, yeah. Uh, I saw I saw what you people demonstrate, you know, uh, it shows, uh, I understand, but there is a man, if you understand the aim, there is a man, because I was watching the interview, it's like day before yesterday, there's an aim, some people are saying we are not here to fight, you, but if you, if you need fight, you, we will give you this and that, but the aim, like I'm saying, is that maybe you guys went there to, to fight Simon Eva or something like that. But there's one thing I remember, even me, I want to open a page that I used to be talking about Biafra something. Because our our leader said that if you know anything that you can do to bring this Biafra, that you should do it. And it's what he's is doing his own. You guys supposed to be doing in you guys' own, not you know, fighting each other. You guys are fighting someone that making a government in Nigeria to check. Nigeria government is shaking. They are afraid of that man. I understand that our people are suffering at back there. Our people are suffering. But before you get a sacrifice, um, be afraid of, you must pay a sacrifice. Ukraine, how many, how many, how many most Ukraine, they are into war. And their people are not talking about food. But our people can ne never sit down, even one month. For them to get a freedom, to get a freedom, you must pay a sacrifice. But I don't understand these people. So, ca people, they want to sit down like this and get a, this freedom like this. They just want to sit down and be enjoying, it. and one person will be suffering. That so, is not a freedom. So, can I? Freedom, everybody must pay the price. So, can I ask you a question? Am I free to ask you a question? Yeah, yeah, you can ask me. Question. Okay, you are you made a reference to Ukraine war. Are Ukraine fighting 
their people or they are fighting an external force? They are fighting another force, no. But their people endure it and they are still underground. That the, 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 lies, so that, that, that is that is that is and that is what I'm asking. Yeah? Are Ukrainian fighting their own people, or they are fighting an external force? They are fighting external force. Okay, that but that are, that you are fighting for. Listen, that have or yeah? that is the question. Further explanation might not be necessary. Now, how does our people? Sitting at home, for example, for one week, how does it give you Biafra? Okay, Jolie, I understand that you guys, you know, you know, when you are in government, you know, when I was in school, I read the politicians, but when you are in you know, someone else is a, is a politician in five now, very and simple. Really Answer really my question, listen, listen. How does sitting at home for one week yeah. give... Because now we are interacting, you know, we are just interacting. We are not quarreling. Because you called me and I believe yeah, yeah. you have a contribution. You say you want to go and open a Facebook page, right? And I believe that when you open I that... Facebook page, two uh, page now. Okay, I but... To, I want to oh, you want to start broadcasting. So you do say, do whatever that will bring Biafra. Beautiful. Yes. And when, you know that when you are broadcasting... Okay, you know that when you are broadcasting, people are going to ask you questions. And you are going to respond. Yeah. Now, I'm asking you a question. Yeah, because I'm listening, I'm listening to our, 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 our leader's uh, broadcast. So, uh, everything, any information, all the history that he's saying there, I know it. I know... Uh, you okay, know, now, been now, now. Our leaders. Okay, now, can you please answer me? How will sit at home for one week give us Biafra? It's a very simple question. Can you... Because it's important. Maybe I, I still. Maybe there is something I will learn from you. Will, Go ahead. I will answer you. Why is important is because our the economic of Nigeria, the thing is damaging it and is affecting our government. That is number one thing. Because now we are not fighting about economy. We need to keep that economy. Our let me see. They say that Igbo, uh, Igbo economic is going down. We know that one. We need to win to from that economic that Nigeria used to stand. We need to bring it down first. Once so, bring it down, once Biafra come, all this all this economic that our people okay. are, so, are crying for that one is not. Okay, let, okay. Let me uh, ask you another question now. From what you said, so how how much? effect is the eastern region economy how is it affecting nigeria how is the uh, sitting at home okay uh, for one week affecting okay. nigerian economy okay why why the sit at home is impact the impact is showing everywhere because government everybody is crying now because of the sit at home you have not you have not answered you have not answered my question i'm just telling you the impact of that is what home. i say how at is it affecting is how is the sitting at home for eastern region affecting nigeria economy how because 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 without that, that eastern region with there's no nigeria Mazi, 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 you have not answered my question. Let me now educate you. The, so, the major source of Nigeria's uh, GDP is from oil. The major source of Nigeria's yeah. GDP. Their annual GDP, their major source of that GDP is from oil. And as long as the oil in Nigeria continues to flow, you can sit at home from now to the next 10 years and Nigeria will still survive. I, I believe that must have answered your uh, question. Let me respond to uh, a caller yes. who is coming in. Yes. Um, let me see because Mazi Solomon is back. Let's see if he has a... Uh, hello, Mazi Solomon. You're welcome back. I know you must have had... Uh, you must have had uh, a caller who called in. Of the matter that um, he just saw you in the Facebook now, and then he joined. He did not join from the beginning, and I believe that uh, he was 
was not there when I was um, making my own comment, you know. So when I when I was making my own comment, he was not there. He must have um, even gotten answer to what um, his argument is all about. So what he don't understand, and I want to explain to him because I love the way you came down and was trying to engage with him because um, that is the level of ignorance that our people are into. They are very, it's very easy with them, very common with them to go ahead putting Mazin Nandekano or putting him on, uh, on uh, out of context, you know. So it's very easy and most of them out, in, out of ignorance are doing the same very small thing they will say our leaders say our leader say uh, whatever you can do for the Afra to come you should go ahead and do it now i want to explain to him him as an individual if he knows what he can do for Biafra to come he has the right to go ahead and do it in his name if IPOP did not send you, don't go and do anything that you felt that uh, uh, when you do it, Biafra will come in the name of IPOP. So IPOP must send you for you to do anything you felt that when you do it, Biafra will come. And then if you are not an IPOP, there is no way IPOP can send you on their behalf. So that is the difference that the caller has to understand. That IPOP are not stopping anybody going out to do what they felt they want to do for Biafra to come. But IPOP is saying capital no. For you as an individual to wake up, you go and do whatever you felt you want to do for Biafra to come in the name of IPOP when they did not send you. If you do that, they will fight you as they are fighting every other person, including a Beriba at Finland. So, don't go and carry out any criminality, any action, or even say anything on the behalf of IPOP, when IPOP did not ask you to do so. If you want to give order for sit at home, don't give it in the name of IPOP. Don't give it in the name of IPOP. If you come out to harass people, kill people, don't be coming on the Facebook after killing people, after coming on the street to kill people, you telling you, the Nigerian government or the world that you are killing people because you are fighting for Mazin and the Kano, or you are fighting for Biafra. Mazin and the Kano did not accept it under the leadership of IPOP. Mazin and the Kano never instructed anybody to kill in his name. So if you want to do it on your on your own. Go out and do it and they call your name. Because said, Ma, 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 we have even seen we have even seen people who went to rob a bank in the name of IPOB. Diamond Bank somewhere in uh, is it in Onisha or somewhere that during the heat of that NSARS and all that it took us a lot of media war. You know, so any criminal can use the name of IPOB to rob a bank. And say if you don't release Mazin Nam the canon, we are going to give me the money. So Mazi, so they need to understand why I lower my voice to this very point is because the the man or the guy or the man that call you is not in a level of engaging in argument with somebody like you or somebody like me. He still needed to be tutored. He still needed, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a baby, he's a suckling baby that needed to be fed with milk. And these are the and people that uh, that are falling prey in the hand of this criminal. 
So, so that the people with half I'm half baked half baked information. These are people with half baked oh, information. Yeah. So what? The reason why I'm lowering my voice to him this very way to understand what Mazin Nadikani is saying that you can do anything you felt like you can do for the Afra to come in your name when IPOP did not send you don't go and do it and telling people that you are doing it on behalf of IPOP on behalf of Mazin Nandekan when he has not sent you Mazi, let me take this call. Mazi, let me take this call. So you stay, you stay at the background, yes. Hello, caller. Good afternoon and welcome to the program. Tell us your name and where you are calling from, please. Oh, good evening. My name is Chimezia. Hey, mom. Chimezia, hey, welcome to the program. I've been listening to your program, you know, from uh, and I hear what others are saying. First of all, I want to say something from the last caller in what he, what he, what he was saying. You know, IPOB, if I may mistaken, means indigenous people of Biafra. That includes everybody who identify himself as a Biafra. And if I may if I may be correct or mistaken, no, you don't, as long as you identify yourself as a Biafran, you don't need to even join to be a Biafran because you're already a Biafran. Joining means maybe some people go join for a, in the meetings, you know, when they have an organization, like you don't have to um, join to be in Nigeria. But people can be able to join, maybe people who play politics, who want to be leaders and those other, but a citizen is a citizen. So if somebody wants to do something like in their own way, is it necessarily they will take permission from the um, US before carrying it out? Is it necessarily they have to take permission or people can do things on their own? I want to ask me this question before I, I go to other beautiful the meaning of indigenous IPOB is the indigenous people of Biafra but under the this indigenous people of Biafra in general there are people who have come together under a leadership structure that have committed themselves in propelling the gospel for Biafra restoration and the leader of this structure and the movement is Mazin Namdekar because I know a lot of people are confused I'm a Biafra I'm an indigenous person of Biafra so why shouldn't I do whatever I like in the wisdom of them of Mazin Namdekar he understand the importance of leadership especially in a struggle like this and for that purpose he set up a body that will be in charge of the daily affairs of the indigenous people of Biafra. So when you decide to say, okay, I want to join, joining means that I have to find a place where, you know, meetings are held, where people gather to discuss the issues and daily affairs of Biafra. You join, you become part of it then it will be easy for people to be organized in the movement for Biafra restoration. And this is what we have been saying, that if you as an individual want to go it alone, you know it is not possible. Even if you are going to go and uh, uh, approach a government, you cannot go as, a go as an individual to approach a government anywhere in the world and they will listen to you because government listen to institutions. Now, as a Biafran and as an indigenous person of Biafra, you have every right to say you are a Biafran, to do whatever you want to do, but do not use the name of Mazin Nam the Kano, indigenous people of Biafra under the leadership Mazin Nam the Kano, to carry out any action. To carry out any kind of action, because at the end of the day, 
the body that is in charge have to take the responsibility. So if you are going as a Biafran to do whatever you want to do, you have to answer your name. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Because no, I, I for, for the fact I, that I, I for the fact that the indigenous people of Biafra is a registered entity, they are recognized. Mm. They are recognized as a body. So anybody who goes about doing anything, the indigenous people of Biafra not being aware of your activities cannot take it slightly with you because they have they cannot be held responsible for your action and this is where we have issues with somebody jumping in from somewhere using the name of ipob when he's not even part of the the structure of ipob he doesn't even understand how the 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 body works you know so it is a kind of trying to create conflict and that is why you see us fighting Fighting okay, against I'm, I'm, yes, go ahead. I'm, you have just I'm, you have I'm, just one minute because calls are coming in. Go ahead. Okay, another question I want to ask you is this: you know, about sitting at home. You know, um, um, everybody have the way they understand things. You know, if you watch recently, there's a lot of talking going on. You know, how to release Mazen and the car, which all of us. We feel so sad the situation after two years in in detention with his health issues. Now, sitting at home, people were asking, "What is he? What is the effect to the federal government?" But you know, um, from from my own understanding, from that sit at home, cannot be probably from the federal government if you are not attacking the, go the the state governors like you see if anybody is talking you see the new state government is talking and i'm the all the eastern they are talking there now the pressure should be mounting on them because you cannot carry war to Abuja. it's impossible but you have to fight those people that's your governor you have to you have to do so you have to make them uncomfortable so okay, my que now my question my question is how many times have the these people have these people now uh, say enforcing it at home? How, how many times have they taken war to the government house in Enugu to go and shoot at the gate of the government house? Listen, um, um, I understand. I understand your question. I understand your question. People who people who go and shoot, and then they, if you are going to government house to shoot, since you have to strategize. In so many things because you don't ah so 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 now 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 you accept that now you accept that strategy should be involved in anything you are doing yes so but can you tell me can, now can you tell me the kind of strategy that is being applied now when you go into the market to shoot at people because they are not sitting at home what is the strategy and what result you expect is going to yield Brother, uh, brother, let me tell you something. We, uh, I, can't, I condemn evil. But what I'm trying to say here, I want to make my point clear because me, um, um, I want to say something here. Um, if what is going on in the East, if the governors are comfortable, they will not be talking. But what I'm saying is this, going to the market and shoot people, you know, this and that, because uh, uh, things can happen. It cannot be the person that others that at home send people. To, it, there's a lot of things going on. There's so many things going on because even the police are involved in so many. There's a lot of things going on in the east that we can we cannot be pointing out to one person. Mas, I have to take another call. Let me take another call. Okay. Let because me, me you are not uh, you are not making any sense to me. Hello, caller. Welcome to the program. Please uh, stay away from your listening device. Please stay away from your listening device. Tell us your name and where you are calling from, please. Yeah, my name is Mabel. I'm calling from US. Okay, Mabel, welcome to the um, program. God bless you so much, and uh, I'm so happy to speak because I've been trying to go um, while to talk. I'm from Anambra State, and um, I'm residing in, in America for now. But everything back in the man about in the Metonia on the road. And I make a IPOB number all these young men who went to Finland 
we are trying to create the other impression. And then, only with them know so much now. Man, see, now they can structure the bed. A group of tabs, but I'm not a team baby. Where we are creating an impression. Now, in the IPOB, now they can they won't mad. Only with that, you know, because of what. The strategy APC government did put out to start the people. Then when they give them one 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 bag of rice, one small bag of rice, they will not be following them. After finishing it, they still go back poor and they keep flying in air. This is the strategy they want to use for the gas But because Nandi is the only one that I want to. On a cage, you may be system to hand them. So, I now came on came on and correct. Now, I'm not focusing now. Simon, ever Simon, ever as well. And then, I'm gonna like you to know him like who will meet Canada Simon ever one on one. Talk to him one on one. Can you post no on the app? But no, no, we got a friend like who needs a friend like just here. Not that we got a guy. I want to hear from the, from him. And who now for you? Who now for you? Never present here. Oh yeah, on the on the on the one representative, does he have any structure? Oh we here? Oh yeah, this person have no foundation. I was in Finland myself. I was in Finland myself, and everything we did was under his roof. And you know, you don't have any right to start going and start knocking on somebody's door to say come out or so you live in the world. Uh, the truth of the matter is that even if you call him on phone, he will never uh, respond. You're not because he's on the run. No, he he cannot. You know what happened? No, let me tell you something. You know these children that do pranking or reality in, in internet. Yes. What they do is that they say somebody, they call the person, they say, "Please, I have a deal with you. I'm an he bring the person out from his comfort zone. Oh, where are the guy no way? Oh, where do the prank he get? Be Oyoshia, call help him, my lord. He knows. He even sent his own spy to come and be spying on us. <laughs> you know that into the end. I'm telling you because I was on the ground personally. He sent a spy to be on the ground where we were doing what we are doing to be giving them him report because he knows. He know you know all your shine chum way and when chem chem when in he's been confined to his uh, little basement. He was even looking at thoughts through the window. You understand what I'm saying? So but that is by the way, going to see him is is completely unnecessary. We have done what we are supposed to do. We have been able to uh, give our message to the field. We were able to do a uh, uh, ground root evangelism. Which nobody have done in the past. We are able to meet the Finnish Parliament. We are able to submit our petition. We are able to communicate with them in their own language and in English and every other way possible. We are able to eat with the Finnish people. You understand what I'm saying? We ate and we drank with them, and they felt our impact and they also appreciated us. We had a series of journalists who came and interviewed and took note and you know made all the necessary coverages we had the finnish police who gave us protection with lots of police escort left right and center all over the place and i believe that the finnish people have gotten the message but it's not going to be the end of the trip by the way i can assure you yeah. that i'll be going back to finland in the next po uh, sure. possible I'm time not, I'm, I'm not yeah another thing i wanted to tip in is that you know those people in that in that interior those in the eastern part that is using as an instrument to do this evil. The, the brethren on the grassroots should also be able to pinpoint and deal with them with ECN or something. Like, I heard that someone told me, my husband told me they have been all those that should be able in the market have been apprehended. That's that was what, what that was what we heard, but we just have to be sure that the right people are apprehended because you know how the zoo yes, works. You know how Nigeria works. They will go yeah. get innocent people, implicate them, and yeah. you see uh, the, the, the people involved still moving freely, you know. So we have to be sure that the people who we are involved in that shooting are, are the right people that we are apprehended. Everybody has their own rights and have their own limits. And everybody's 
a rentist, a mechanic, a doctor. They are all professionals in and abroad. So I want those attitudes when you are responding to people to see the person's point of view, understanding by that person, and deal with that person at that level. Don't get offended. No matter how the person. My, my sister, people. my sister, this is the best program you can call into this is the best program you can call into as far as i personally is concerned because we listen to everybody and we take your point of view sometimes we disagree and uh, sometimes i have to yes. let people go because of the timing not because uh you know they I, i'm cutting them off but i just have to let them go because um you know the time limit and things like that but when it comes to re receiving and listening to people responding to questions i'm always available and we do not block anybody from expressing their views Definitely. Imagine them. Imagine them. The can will be free, hundred percent. I can guarantee you. But the truth is that we have to take it in the right direction. We must not give the enemy uh, uh, the upper hand or the advantage. What these people are trying to do is that for the fact that the Nigerian court have already granted Mazin Nam the Kanu bail, and they have not found him guilty. These criminals, yes. uh, these criminals are trying to use his name to commit crime, so that the Nigerian state will not say yes. They will be able to have something to hold against him. And when you see what happened in Ebony, when you see what happened in Ebony, they were shooting at people in the name of Mazen Nam the Kano, and this is what they were contracted to do. That is what that is what they were contracted to do, using the name of Mazen Nam the Kano to shoot at and kill people. Since the Nigerian government, because Nigerian government have not been able to hold anything, they are now working very hard to see how they can hold something against him. And that is why we are here in the media. Yes, if if by now Mazinam the Kano is uh, acquitted uh, and, uh, you know, asked to go home and they are still holding him, I don't think that shooting gun in the air is going to bring him out. What do we do? We have to put more diplomatic... We have to put di diplomatic uh, uh, machineries on the ground to pressure Nigeria to do the needful, but not killing our own people. You cannot be injuring yourself. You cannot be injuring yourself. No, 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 absolutely. I want to tell anybody that's supporting killing of our people, that person, God will kill you. Because you cannot kill some individual who you are looking for, you are fighting for his own freedom. You cannot kill the person. How can you kill uh, people that are hungry? We even think of how to gather money and send to those who are being displaced, so who are hungry, who need hospital equipment, who need food, early for the day. So this is what this is what the criminal this is what the criminal have been co uh, contracted to do to help to help Nigerian government create an alibi you know so that they will be able to create a new case against Mazen Nam the Kano and so you see that your IPOB people your IPOB people are killing people and for that reason we have a new evidence against you and that is why we continue to disassociate ourselves from criminality so that when we present our case before the world, we'll be able to come out clean without any form of, uh, uh, you know, guilt or any reason for the world to ask us, why are you killing your people? Or why did Mazen Nam the Kano send people to go and kill people? And when you see us fighting so hard, we have, we are doing everything to exonerate our leader. Because for the fact that he has not been found guilty, we are at advantage. Just like I said, in a football field, the winner, the only body who is leading in the match does not play rough. You know, you cannot be leading in the in a football match and you are not being the one playing rough. No. 
It is those that are losing that plays rough, and that is what Nigeria is using this useless, shameless criminal autopiloters to do in the game of uh, uh, Mazenam, the kind of freedom from Biafra, uh, the, uh, from uh, DSS dungeon. You know. Thank you very much, my sister. Thank you for the call. Thank you very much. We are taking another caller. That was our sister from the U.S. Hello, caller. Welcome to the program. Tell us your name and where you are calling from. I'm sorry that we have a series of calls. and So if you are calling, you just have to be patient. Go ahead. Tell us your name and where you are calling from. My brother, my brother. God bless you, my brother. I call. I go speak for you for this this program. I come from Nigeria. My brother, I listen for you. Even though this is my sister, I will call now. Yes. Okay, now, can we go I will coordinator. I will coordinator in Finland. And the coordinator, Boyen on Finland, Boloya. Some time ago, even before he even came and interviewed Mazinam the Khan, see, I cannot done, I can't And I would like to bring that young man because he's, he's important, maybe on the next edition, because Biafra's need to also listen to his own, uh, you know, his own side of the story. Yes, how he called this guy and said, let us, you know, come together and form the Nekwai P.O.B. Nekwai Haneme because people were looking at him as somebody did too important. The world is a boom where you know Yimbamba, Kwane, Abam, Nukumoto, you know. Despite the fact that there in Finland he has been a very big problem to our people when it comes to the issue of immigration. He has uh, sabotaged our people. He has duped our people. Uh, you know, in fact, he has worked with uh, Finnish immigration to deport so many of our people back to Nigeria. In fact, he was doing, he was working as a translator for the immigration. And he was also using the wife office to help people process uh, immigration document. And 99.9% .9 of the people who went through him we are practically deported because he takes money from them and he never did the job. He never he takes money from them and he never did the job. That is a, a different ball game before he now jump on the wing of uh, Biafra movement to continue the atrocity that he's committing today. And people know him as a notorious, terrible person in Finland, you know, even before he joined the Biafra struggle. Now, that attempt to have a discussion and find a way, you know, to organize people in Finland what, failed because he himself said that he's not going to uh, associate anything that has to do with, with the name of Mazen Nam the Kano in the oath. In Anuku Yemneku, he had no because someone has in the bottle. You know, so he said, us you know, go ahead take you to Afan Nan, the canon on email. In fact, the, uh, the, 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 that former national coordinator, Gwalai, Gwalai, no, you know, you have Biafra. He hasn't even, as at that house, you have Kweya, and I cannot, you have to wait have That time, he hasn't even started broadcasting or anything. You understand what I'm saying? He said he's not going to have anything to do with Mazen Nam the Kano, because then, no, I chuck you take your oath, now you have to wait for Mazen Nam the Kano from that uh, oat, you know, and he was, they left him until after he until after he just as we hear a query mad on a gem, he has to challenge the query mad, he has to, 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 he has to,
And when he started earlier in the broadcasting, immediately Mazen Nam the Kanobia go be the broadcast. So the mother and I tackle lawyer say, How can you be coming the center and the Mazen Nam the Kano was coming to broadcast? Oh, Jizian, why you're not there? So he now discovered that there is no way he would go through that route and succeed. Oh, we change his strategy. Yes. Okay. 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 no no Mbam bam 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 baburo ezioku baburo ezioku Sorry okay sorry Baburo fa no kai na Chai malon dia na hand so a chonta Mba you don't have to apologize so what he your dream email I'm just trying to correct you Oh what you marry her John Mazi, thank you very much. Ekenamge. Mazi, I appreciate. I appreciate. Thank you very much for your call. Thank you very much. Yeah, so I don't want our people to believe that Odai Nacho Fuef, your Buro Fuef, you know, it's not true. These are infiltrators who have come to destroy what we are doing. And we must identify them because everybody will lose. So we believe that we are pursuing the same thing. At the end of the day, it's not true. We are not pursuing the same thing. Hello, Mazi Solomon. You're welcome back. Um, thank you very much, Mazi, Pat, for bringing me in. So I have to be brief because I see that a lot of people are trying to get to, to the phone. So um, to start with, um, um, with the, the, the person who called in, who called in and was asking a question, about uh, being an indigenous, uh, indig uh, being an IPOP member, the difference between being an IPOP member and being a peer fund. They, uh, these are two things. If you are to be the member of IPOP under the movement, under the umbrella of IPOP, under the leadership of Mazina, there is a procedure. You have to be a registered member. You have to be an oath member. You have to follow the procedure to be pronounced a member of IPOP that has the capacity. Listen carefully. This is a very, this is the place where it is very very important to understand. For you to be a member that has the capacity to represent IPOP, or for IPOP to send you to represent them in any occasion you have to follow the procedure of regist registering with IPOP and, and uh, identification and identification very important go ahead and very important so now it does not take you a registration to be a Biafran or indigenous person of Biafran by that, if you are from this uh, from the old eastern region, what that was declared Biafra in nineteen sixty seven, by that you are automatically an indigenous Biafra. But under the umbrella, under the leadership of Mazin Nandi Kanu, to be among the people that Mazin Nandi Kanu is leading. As an IPOP member, you have to register and you have to be an oath member. So you cannot jump from anywhere and stand to represent IPOP. If you go anywhere 
or anything you want to do anything on behalf of Biafra, it's up to you. You can do it. But you must be an, a member and follow the normal protocol to be a member of IPOP for you to have a representative capacity of IPOP. You cannot come to the market and shoot gun and shoot people, chase people away, and you said you are doing it, you are doing it with you are doing it as an IPOP. While IPOP did not send you. So we cannot represent nobody with criminality can represent us. And the reason we are doing it is not only for the criminal in Finland. But why we are fighting right now is because even the Nigerian people with their um, for, uh, with their forces, with their police and the army are equally taking that advantage. They go and commit crime and they, they will come and say and they, when they are committing the crime they will go with um, the Afghan flag. Yeah, because 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 they have opened the gate for them to do so. They have they have they have opened they gave them the opportunity. You know, so they can ride on the wheel of criminality that is being perpetrated by these criminal autopiloters. You know? Exactly. So that is the point we are trying to make. So we we must we must rise at once and defend that name that we find a leader under the leader under the leadership structure of IPOP. We must rise and defend it. Or else, other people will use that name to commit crime, and they will put it on us. And we don't want that to happen to us or to happen to our people. And that is why we are fully out here to say that if anybody wanted to do anything that he failed to do for Biafra to come, if you want to do it, do it on your behalf. On your own. And don't do it in the name of not in the name of IPO. Omar the Kano. Like somebody was shooting in a bony market. Somebody was shooting in a bony market. You must free Mazin and the Kano. Ta, 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 ta. Shooting innocent people, harmless people. Do you know what that means? Oh. Mazin, that is crazy. So, Using the name of Mazin and the Kano to shoot pregnant I'm women. That is madness. And you want us to keep quiet and say we are I na I need a natural fuefi. Mbabro no fuefi kai na chuna. Mazi, I'll keep you at the background so that I can take more calls. Yeah, Mazi, there is another point I want to make. Okay, That's go ahead. Here, as saying, yeah, the person is not claiming that the seat at home is the reason that they are using seat at home to put pressure on the uh, uh, on uh, on the governors and the representatives of uh, political representative of uh, Southeast for them to speak about the release of Mazin and Khan. Now, at this moment, IPOP are the initiator of sit at home. The first sit at home on Monday that, that happened was initiated by IPOP. We are not against sit at home when the Biafrans want to sit at home. IPOP is not against sit at home. But what IPOP is saying is that when they did not put sit at home, don't say that they put sit at home. Sit at home at sit at home that is going on on Biafran land now. On Mondays or uh, on Monday is being carried out by Biafra and the IPOP is not enforcing it. IPOP is not against it at home, but IPOP is against enforcing it at home. IPOP also is against anybody sitting at home when they did not order sit at home. And you said they order sit at home. Or you order sit at home on their behalf. That is what IPOP is fighting. So if Biafran or people of Southeast, they decide to be sitting at home every Monday, IPOP is not against them. But they 
they cannot put it on IPOP. That is IPOP that is making them to sit down every Monday. Why IPOP have declared that there is no sit at home? So people must understand that every Monday that IPOP members are also sitting at home. But nobody is forcing it on them. Nobody is forcing it on their friends. They can choose to do what they want to do. But what IPOP is saying, if you choose to do what you want to do, you should not put it on them. They have come out and they said, we are not putting it at home on Monday. So you cannot be sitting at home on Monday. And you are saying that is IPOP that is making you to sit at home on Monday. Or is Mazin Nandekan who has told you not to sit at home that is making you to sit down at home? That is the formation of character. So we don't want it to happen. So let them not come with uh, uh, that, uh, like IPOP or DOS is against sit at home. They are the initiator of sit at home. They brought out that instrument. So, and they can never be against it. And they use it at the right time. And they can still use it tomorrow and any time. But the fact remains that nobody put nobody put it and the, nobody uh, uh, said sit at home and they put it on DOS or put it on on IPOP when IPOP have not declared sit at home. That is what is happening. Mazi, thank you. You can take other people. Thank you very much. Let's take another call from Italy. Mazi, Mazi, stand by. Stand by. We we'll need you. We have a caller. Hello, caller. Good afternoon. Your name and where you are calling from, please. Thank you very much, Mazi. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Your name and where you are calling from, please. I hope, I, I hope I'm coming out clear. Very, very clear. Tell us your name and where you are calling Thank from. You. Thank you very much. I remain your, your humble comrade, Mazi Moye Chinedum. The program. Mazi, you're welcome to the program. Thank you very much. I'm working as a coordinator of Milano, of IPOB. Thank you. I am following what you, what is going on today on the program. I can see. I can see. I can see that our people are coming back to know that IPOB remain one and one and remain one. IPOB are not two. IPOB is only one all over the world. Yes. IPOB led by Mazenam Lopudechukano, followed by Directorate of State of Biafra, DOS. Yes. We are only one. We are not two. I greet my brothers and sisters that participated at the Finland movement of IPOB. That is what we do. That's how we do. Any national coordinator organized, organize any protests and call IPOB worldwide, we will gather. Any national coordinator organize a protest and call IPOB in any country you resided, we will gather. That is how we do. So that is that remain our way. And we reach to the to the top. We reach to the top of authority and we take order to do whatever we want to do. The time at the initial stage they call us Miss Grant, they call us Hooligan, they call us all sort of name. We tell them let them not drink our wine that up up wine is coming. Hmm? Now they can see, they can see, they can see it, they can see it happening. And we said nobody will help us to do what we come to do. Only me and you, Biafrans. I don't know if I'm coming out clear. Hundred percent, Biafrans are listening all over the world. Thank you very much. So they can see. Nobody will help us to do what we want to do because America will defend America, Bia France will defend Bia France, Italians will defend the Italians, you know, Israel will defend Italy, Germany will defend Germany. This is the time we have come to possess our possession, Bia France. We have come. This is the time. 
no other time. We are not begging anybody because we know what we are, what we are doing and we know where we are heading to. That is why we work now we can wake the dead and wake the, the sleeping lions to come up to do the needful. Yes, what we are telling our brothers and sisters is to follow instructions. To follow instructions of IPOB, led by Mazen Namdekano and Directorate of State of Biafra, DOS. Instruction, follow instruction so that you don't fall victim. So that you don't fall victim because some of our people don't have what we call a crow. Some don't know, don't, don't, some don't have a crow. That's why they are following IPOB and see someone that is follow, that's supposed to follow IPOB the same way they follow IPOB. The person talk and our chief, our guy on top, tell us to listen to him and okay, they tell he later they give information that he said to give a slot. Give a slot. Are there not people in that office before? Some people hold the office. So you don't go to you are not going to meet them. Or how many will play and dance at the same time? Or some people don't have sense. And I said that those kind of people don't have don't know their father. Because if they know their father, they know that any way, any time they move out with their father, he must stand together with the father till they go back home. Look at the way they, they live, they live what, what now they cannot give them. Following another different thing, plotting another different thing. And our leader said, if you want to do anything you want to do, remove that IPOB from you, from anything you want to do that not follow with you, with what we are doing, you know? Remove IPOB, remove anything there. Go do what you want to do. If you do it, come back, tell us anything, how it happen. You understand it. We can, we can defend you. But they are calling our name anyhow, doing all sorts of, using our name, doing all sorts of things. Using our name, doing all sorts of things. Mazi, I call thank those you very much. Those that don't know their father. But my, my announcement this afternoon is that all traditional men that hold this type of authority because each community we call them Bagara, there is the first person that build Mazi, are you there? Are you there? We are calling on all of them. We are calling on all of them. Because it's in, 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 in any community, you enter there, you find a Kori Afonangwa. Those people that hold, hold the staff of authority of a Kori Afonangwa, go to them. Go to them. You want Pagara? You want Oko? You want Ebo? You couldn't Thank you, Mazi Thank, 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 Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Maz. I appreciate your contribution. Thank you very much. I appreciate. I would for the fact that um, for the fact that somebody talked about sitting down in Finland to talk with the with the in Finland and all that and I want to connect to the former nas uh, national coordinator of IPOB in Finland Marzi Obasi I hope I'm going to get him because I promised I was going to interview Marzi Obasi but the interview didn't go well so uh, but I want to connect him to a live program hello Marzi Obasi are you there good afternoon yeah, good afternoon. Mazio are you in a position to are you in a position to talk to Biafras briefly? Or are you working? Yeah, I'm driving. I'm driving actually. Okay, let me pass. 
Okay. Okay, you can pack because uh, it's important because I'm in on a live program and somebody called and said w that we went to because I'm continuing our trip to Finland. This is the second edition. The first edition was done yesterday. Yeah. The first edition was done yesterday okay. where where I brought in your current national coordinator. And this second edition, I yeah. find it imperative to bring you on the program. Uh, even if it's not arranged, I didn't inform you I was bringing you to the program, but I'm forced to because there is somebody that called in and said, why didn't you people sit down with the, with the man, the discourse and things like that? And I'm here to... You know, for you to tell Biafra how you have sat down to discuss with him and the response he gave you. Go ahead, Mazi Obasi. Uh, yeah, thank you very much, you know. As you ever said, my name is Mazi Obasi, the former coordinator of Finland. So, um, every month, somebody pass, they call him. We here, we, he had the opportunity to be a happy member if he wanted to have been. But starting from Offset, he never wanted to be part of this uh, family. So I called him initially when I saw him two years ago, when I saw him broadcasting to come and identify with us here in our office in Helsinki. And uh, he came. So we had tabled our code of conduct and our program for him to know what we are doing. After everything, he. Mazel Basi, hold on, no, hold on, hold on, not him, but to hold this point. Are you the one that? approached him that called him to come and join or was yes, he the one that you know, you know, yes go ahead yes because I think the reason why i called him i went to uh Biafra land i came back that during covid time so i saw him broadcast i don't know him before so i called i told him our european remarks that this guy is doing well in finland can i consult him i know him i don't know him so you can identify with him with me as a coordinator then, so we can do something right to our people. So it's important, Maz, it, it is important work. for people to know that you were the one that was looking for him. So that is to show that you, 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 the, that the, the arm of IPOB have already been open to our people to come and join. Go ahead. Yes, it's not only him, many of them, all the whole IPOB union, different friend bodies here, I go to all of them, I told them the same uh, good news about Biafra here. So, so none of them answered that call, including him. So he is the one that came with the other group that never wanted to do anything with the our leader and the can they want their own different way of uh, agitation. So he came together with them. So I want to unite all of all that even they are the reason why I rented that office for the first place so I can have a place of uh, a board where we can stay together and listen. So everything didn't work. He came there. He said, "Not going to take the oath." I asked him reason why. He said because of our leader's name in the oath that the, the name will have to be removed. I said, "Why? This is the structure of the movement. So everybody is about to this oath, including not the kind of leader himself." He said, "No. Before oh, we finish argument, argument, you know, not worked." I don't know that he end up taking the oath. And even posted that he's the one that's going to bring Biafra himself, not even what we're doing. So that is all I know about him. So uh, he refused to take oath because of what was the reason specifically that he refused to take the oath? Uh, first of all, he said the oath is not good because our know the current name is in the oath. That he, he is not Biafra, he has to be removed. I said, Everybody is taking this oath, including him himself, our leader. So that is the reason why he didn't. So he rejected to take oath because of the name of Mazen Nam the Kano in the oath. That is what he said. Everybody had the sense so. And that, he's also have repeated it to Mazawa himself. Okay. So because it's very, very important that people understand that a man who refused to take oath because Mazen Nam the Kano name is in the oath is the one answering the disciple today. Because it is yeah. very yes, it is very very important that he is the one now killing people in the name of Mazen Nam the Kanu for him to be freed from DSS uh, uh, detention. Mazen, I know that you are on your way, and I know that this call I gave you is impromptu. Uh, I didn't uh, inform you I was going to call. 
Uh, but I'm going to sit down with you uh, on a on a on a more better atmosphere in a program like this, so that you'll be able to talk to us well organized in a better you know state of mind. But why I decided to call you is because some of our people are blaming us that we didn't go to sit down with him, uh, you know, to find a way uh, to you know compromise with him. But uh, it's important because you know in the bank, okay, see, if you do not open certain things, so then they will they will be thinking that maybe you have something to hide. So that is why I said let me bring you in to so that they will know that. IPO even from Ansel have tried to make him part of what he, he vehemently refused because he want he had always wanted to tow his own path because he cannot stay under anybody. He wants to be the boss. Marzi, thank you very much. Thank you for your contribution. Uh, thank uh, you, my brother. And then, well, yes. Yeah, thank you to also man, for coming to see us in Finland. Have a nice time, okay? Yeah, thank, thank you. you Yes. Thank you very much, Mazi Ohe Biafra. Talk to you some other time. Thank you very much. Yeah, so that was uh, former uh, Finland National Coordinator, Mazi, Mazi Obasi uh, Anthony. And it's important that our people, I know he must have, uh, people must have heard him talk about this issue in the past, but um, I'm bringing him in because of our brother who was saying, why didn't you people try to call him on the phone? Why didn't you people try to at least see him and talk with him? Mazio Basi have done that in the past, and uh, we have crossed that stage. Hello, caller, welcome to the program. Your name and where you are calling from. I know you've been trying to reach me for a very long time. Your persistence has paid off. Go ahead. Yeah, Mazi. Go ahead, go ahead, be are friends are listening. Uh, Maz, my name is uh, Simon, calling from Cape Town, South Africa. Okay, are you driving? Because I can hear some noise there on the background. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, uh, Maz, Maz. Go ahead, we are listening. Be are friends yes. are listening. Okay, come, come. Come back to back like come back to back like a one minute. Thank you very much. Uh, he has been trying to reach us for a very long time. Uh, he has been trying to reach us for a very long time. There are so many other people too who have been trying to reach us. Uh, let me see if I can put call across to them and see if we can uh, talk with them because it's also important that those who called us and couldn't get or sometimes you get back to them as well uh, so that they can have the opportunity to make their contributions let's see a brother calling from the United States hello caller brother you're welcome to the program I know you've been trying to reach us for a very long time uh, that's true that's true so how are you Thank you. You are live with Bia France. Uh, you're welcome to the program. I guess you're calling because of the live program. Yeah. Absolutely, yes. Uh, this is uh, uh, G-Mobile, uh, uh, Alexander, from America. You're um, welcome to the program, Mazi. Yeah, uh, uh, Mazi, uh, thank you very much. You see, uh, personally, uh, I will, my own advice, first of all, is that uh, the program you did yesterday was good. Hello? I'm listen we are listening. Biafra is listening. Hello? Yeah, the program you did um, yesterday was uh, fantastic. And uh, I will... Kawan Naimoko Ojemba Wan Kobuto Kobuto Now... Oh, in your on your channel in Finland, I'm all remember in the bank of the hammer. I'm from the one up at I'm on the home again now. No, give me personally. I'm on the home again now. No, give me. He was just during those days, he was just, you know, building himself up. And at the point, he felt that, okay, I have achieved more. I have achieved much. And he started doing what he's doing. Personally, what I would say would uh, is time 
Because you are my only arrest. You are my only. Okay, I'm poor. My guy below. Uh, for me, um, is incomplete. With the type of things, only I'm in the yalla, yalla. You might have to. I want. I want to call it. And you might can do by himself. Problem is when you you only have a good example. You have plan it. All of my are happier. They will still come to intensify their effort. They will still make um, be for a be like Ambazonia. Um, so I got married. I got me. I gave me. Obu yani for me. Um, Obu yani uku mano yani mene action than you uku. Onya need to go to jail. Onya basically in jail because Okobi tele. A lot of he has killed, he has killed, and I believe that I believe with uh, the protests they did, I believe that they might they, they will submit some letters against him and things like that because only a, but I'm not even in the buying they are follow sheepishly. Only for only for trying to make sure no, it's okay. The only one to only get say with really be a for only no free, but only not doing harm. He knows nothing. He knows nothing. Obruma. Um, I can wait to be a for a true like it. I go come on with our brokers. Mazam nam the car no. Kedu ya meroji labazi. Kedu ya meroji noze na poro. Come on. Kedu ya nde pa ine miya. You know. And oh, oh, kuya ne me. Anye si kuya ni ana mpochi ya. Hmm. Anyone there are some people if they are speaking personally, I listen to them. Hello. Maz, we are listening. Be a friend, are listening. Yeah. Yeah, in one one yana bo um um omote be up for eh? Onye wola mweli ke accusation or this and that. That girl has onye wola do inspiration that lady ne yomwe. I'm like her. Now from the beginning, omote be up for has never associated herself with this guy. In fact, from the one, omote was the first person to reveal. This guy, and now there is something Omote also is saying, and some people are misunderstanding her. This religion of a pain. Uh, Omote, for me, Omote is not saying that nobody should shouldn't speak about religion, but attacking people is different from speaking about against the evil or ill people are doing. And some people will say, "Oh, oh yeah, this is my platform." But your know, platform is no matter how you say you you may think that your platform is you are independent. But everybody sees you as an IPOB front, one of the IPO or IPOB front, uh, frontiers. So what I'm saying is, is it, we need to be more calculated. We need to be more careful. We need to be more strategical. Strat if I didn't pay that, I, I mean, you my enemy, enemy. Then when they were sitting in a naya, if you could need DOS, I was sitting in a hanya and a hanya and a hanya. I knew who was supposed to learn from Mazichina Samuru, Mazichi Ketosim. If not the way the DOS, if not the way they are championing this restoration by now. IBB should have been a, 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 a bike on something. But you see them methodically, me meticulously, they are flowing in everything. That and they are, and they, are not, they, are not making no, they are not making noise about it. What? Oh, man, the to him. We will not give for you. Oh, but I'm the book. I saw that guy in a deal. And I will suggest that you can get you go. MG here. Eh, as him say, how you only budget to what position with him as a name the can. As a name the can, he remains the supreme leader. Honestly, eh, if as a name the can comes out, he can get you. He will still remains the top leader. But I think um, the DOH need to be they need to be more fortified. Honestly, these guys are wonderful. The DO without the DOH, we go nowhere. In my end, the buy in the buy in here, me and I could really me here. In the buy in you go now, now honey, and waiting for mention. Oh, what's he asking? Oh, what's he asking? He, yeah, my honey, and waiting for mention. 
they do throw this propaganda to take us down to the to the locals. How? If they are not getting information, or uh, do they want to like sabotaging or eating money, or maybe taking money from DOS uh, unnecessarily? Because I don't, I wouldn't know why the, somebody not uh, his room only, you know, is is just making propaganda. That's all. So in all, I again yeah, this guy the highest of his dis the, the his the, the disgrace of his life openly. Maz, I need the need the requia, I need the requia. Issues issues will yeah, take care of themselves. That is basic. You know, issues you take care of yourself. Mm. Mas, I really appreciate your contribution. Yes. You have just yeah, 30 I'm seconds so that I can take you another call. Yes, just finally. Eh? When the DOS are doing great. And the chamber. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mazi, for your contribution. We no really appreciate, no we really appreciate. Thank you very much. Right, mm -hmm. Yeah, so that was our brother from the US. Uh, let me see because there is this our brother. Oh my God, this our brother from South Africa is such a, a persistent human being. He doesn't give up. You know, I like his spirit. Hello, caller. Welcome to the program. You're welcome. Oh my God, is it him? Oh, another South African. Ah, yeah, yeah. I don't know which one is which again. Oh. Let me see if I can. He's the one calling. I just mistakenly. Hello, my brother. Hello. Are you the one that told me you want to pack so that uh, you call me back? No, 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 no. Ah, you are another person. Okay, we have a brother who yes. I was trying to, who has been trying to reach us, and he said, let him just call me back in a minute. Yes, you're welcome to the program. Tell us your name and uh, where you're calling from, please. Yeah, I'm calling from South Africa. Okay, what's your name? Uh, my name is Nkenjika. Okay, Nkenjika, you're welcome to the program.
My 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 own my own my own dispute my own concern is we we know how the Nigerian police and the military the Nigerian forces works. They can pick innocent people, intimidate them, and accuse them of uh, you know. So that the identity of those people have to be ascertained. You know, you cannot go and uh, kidnap innocent people and say, me, for personally, will not support uh, Nigerian uh, army. You have to, you know, show evidence. You understand? Because we have had victims, even people that were being killed in the name of IPOB, that they are, uh, you know, a bubago and all that, killing innocent people, burning down houses. You understand what I'm saying? You know, so for me personally, I cannot support Nigerian government or Nigerian police or military arresting our people randomly. In the, and this is what we are saying. Because when you leave room, this type of thing, when you uh, engage boys with, with, uh, with guns and uh, ammunition to go and harass our people, innocent people, victims will be arrested. And this is the reason we have been shouting that such things should not happen. You are giving room for our enemies to come in. You are giving room for our enemies to destroy us from inside. Because up on that day, Bony incident didn't happen. Now, there wouldn't have been any reason for Nigerian police to even arrest anybody on that course. And this is what we have been fighting against. That this criminality has to stop. Because when you give room, somebody called in yesterday. I said that uh, during the Biafra war that the Nigerian uh, military force dressed up in Biafra I mean, and went and started killing our people in the Riverine area. Why? Because there was an opportunity for such a thing to happen. If somebody have not put a seat at home and start enforcing seat at home, you cannot, you cannot see Nigerian military now going to arrest people because of some people went to enforce seat at home. I arrest, arresting innocent people. But because we have given them the room they will take advantage of it and start killing our people, arresting innocent people and intimidating in. And this is what we have been saying. That Mazin Namdekani knew very well when he said that there should be peace. That Biafra land should be peaceful. Because he knows that Nigeria has a way of taking advantage of any little mistake to intimidate our people and criminalize them. And this is what these agents are doing. When they criminalize, they will give the Nigerian uh, forces the opportunity to, you know, to come in and carry out these atrocities. Mas, that is the truth. That is the truth of the matter. So we have Kaige because we are the one giving this Nigerian police and the army opportunity because we create a criminal environment for them to come in in the name of they are uh, coming to arrest criminals by so doing, killing innocent people, intimidating and arresting innocent people. Maz, go ahead. You just have one minute. Yes. Mazi, go ahead. Go on, Mazi, Joe. I'm listening. I have been more and more going to be a struggle till 2015 consistently up to today, and I have made my I have paid my I have paid my own dues. 
I'm only to, I'm trying to give you a background of you know little contribution you make ego. You understand what I'm saying? And I cannot put up all this effort. I cannot put up all this effort. Kobuli here nani? So he job alone. He be na job man choke biafra biya this year. If if there is something we can do for biafra to come today, you understand what I'm saying? I'm ready to put, but not putting in the life of our people in danger. In the course of trying, if I have to pay the price personally, I will pay them, but not putting in the life of our people in danger. Do you know the implication? The implication of putting our life, Gemonti, Kenguai, the implication of putting the life of our people in danger is that our people no way are even beginning to question the Biafra that we are fighting for by shooting them in the marketplace. Look at those little children that were flawed because high jealous school. This is a typical human rights violation. I know Bene here in Nigeria, I my kind of mess you why now growing up for those children. What are you going to tell them about Biafra that they went to school and uh, some group of criminal flogged them and beat them up in the name? Do you think those children are going to grow up and listen to you when you talk about Biafra? They're not going to listen, they're not going to take you serious. You have already built a negative memory in their mind concerning Biafra. And this is the direction these criminals are taking us to. So that our people will be dissuaded. Our people will start having hatred for the name Biafra. The person that is even doing the autopilot, a lot of Biafra, he has always been an antagonist to this movement from day one. When Mazin before he came and started pretending to be part of us, he was attacking Mazin. Anytime Mazin and the Kano put him a broker, thinking that he that he could draw the attention of our people from. But when he discovered, people started tackling him. He went back and restrategized. And now started pretending to be part. Because for you to catch a monkey, you must behave like a monkey. That is what he did. That is what he did. He was able to come from the back because he knew that coming confrontational will not work immediately after the Ekwerimado saga in Germany. So, Mazi, you have just 30 seconds to round up, please. All right, uh, brother. Even for you, because I'm on the DC in the UK and in Russia. Mana, eh? I don't know everybody, eh? Ni ni na ne menu. Ni ni na ne menu. You cannot force yourself into slot. Man, bam, 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 bam. Man, you cannot force yourself into giving slot. You want to go? Oh, we'll proceed your stage me here. If you do not meet all the criteria and uh, you cannot abide by the rule, you cannot be accept you cannot be accepted. Anyway, man, I have to come to the end of the program because uh, I'll be continuing by tomorrow. Hello, uh, Bria France, I'm rounding up this program. We'll continue some other time with the third edition because I know that a lot of people want to. We want, we'll continue and I'll be bringing more people in the program. Thank you very much and have a wonderful evening. God bless you.